Well, how do the charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves. Now, I'm playing on my PC safe. I've got myself a nice black PlayStation controller for my PC. And um, I'm heading over to the actual terminal and we're going to get loaded in. I'm going to show you the sort of stuff that I'm going to be taking with me. Of course, I've already run this on my, PC, on my PlayStation 5 now. So I've got a good idea of what to take with me this time. So let's select equipment and let's get into this. I'll show you what I actually select. I'll go and select it all. Okay, chum, so some of the important bits that I've got here is I've got the hazmat gauntlets just pre-packaged and I've got the personal refiner mark too. Now I've got more than I need on these so I can sell the surplus and get a load of nanites. I've also got a stack of 30 of these salvaged datas that I can spin into nanites as well because we've got to get 6,000 nanites in this. I've got a few things I can sell for units and I've also got some grubs so I can bring in the actual um, you know, creature mothers whenever I need to. I've also got a load of hermetic sills. I know they're easy to create but it's tedious so I grab some of those as well. I'm ready to start the expedition. Let's get into this people. I guess. Accept. Well, of course, I won't get none of that lovely stuff until I actually get to the Nexus. The anomaly. And to do that, I need to get my warp thrust to fuel. I guess. I do love this starting planet. Anyway, there's a bit of an animation to get through here. Sweet. Okay, right. So... Before we actually go anywhere or do anything, I want to go into options, I want to go into network, and I want to make sure that that's disabled. Yep, lovely jubbly, and definitely PvP is off. Sweet! Okay, next thing I want to do before I go anywhere is make sure I've got all my adjacency bonuses the way I want them. So I'm probably going to stick that down here maybe, and put that in there. Actually, we'll put the A-class shield module in there for now. Hmm, okay, fine. Stick that there. And the movement, let's put the movement up for now. That'll do us. Okay, right, now we're good to go. Ah, there's also the adjacency on the multi tool. But I think we're okay there, really. I mean, what we've got here? Reload time. Hmm, we've got an A class. We'll put that on there. There we go. And might as well take that off the boosted slot because it does nothing on the boost. We'll stick that on boosted for now. But there we go. Now we've got to head towards our ship. Make sure we've got the objective selected. And on the way there, I'm just going to blast plants. I'm going to blast rocks. Now, the multi-tool right now, I haven't fully upgraded it. But I, I might be able to still pop the badge for harvesting a lot of resources if I'm if I'm quite good with it. Okay, I'll just see if we can. Oh no, 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 no. Really, I should have selected the badge so we could see how close I'm getting or not. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to go collect a load of these materials. Let's just hope that it pops the badge. So basically, I don't want the mining beam to go all the way down. I want to keep it sort of white hot, if you like, or red hot. Even if I'm not aiming at anything. You just don't want the bar to go all the way down to the start again. As long as you can keep it sort of like teetering. It must be close now. The 900. Damn it! Weapon charge depleted. Wonder how close I was getting to that anyway. Let's have a quick look see. Can't remember what phase it was in. I think it was phase three. The fat of the land. Oh, I was so close! Look, 825! 
on my days. Okay. Well, we nearly did it. But anyway, we've arrived at the ship now. I'm going to have to start doing some combat -y stuff. We've got the scatter blaster. Ah, have I crafted any ammo? I haven't. So let's uh, craft some ammo quickly. I've ah, got some ammo. I do. Because there's going to be some little git bags that pop out the ground as I get close. You watch. And I'm going to have to take them on. Come on in, git bags. I'm ready for you. Hmm, okay. I can hear the music. There they are. Trying to flank me, are you? Yeah, well, I'm a skilled warrior. I know your little tactics. Get out of it, you. Pow! Ah, you get back. Take that. You're going to retreat or what? Go on, get out of here. There you go. Got them all. Sweet. We can hit this up as well. That was so close for the multi-tool. Oh, well, when we get a couple of bits and bobs put in the multi-tool, we'll make that a lot easier anyway. Well, anyway, we've made it to the actual ship. Of the ship. Let's go over to the old expedition. And let's claim our phase one reward. We've got this so far. Lovely jubbly. Cool, yeah. Uh, let's jump in the ship, out of the ship. We've got given a shield module as well. Let's get that installed, shall we? We've got ourselves a lovely bit of text here. Glorious liquidators, your vanguard heroes have located a vile infestation spreading in this sector. All local cleanup units are hereby considered activated. The vanguard have tracked and marked the infestation site. Report for duty at your nearest rendezvous point immediately. Acknowledge the orders. Liquidators have called me and I will answer. I will do my part. Pagas! Chicka pow pow. Sweet. I've just got some repairs to do before I can do that. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah. Right, we've got given a shield module, so let's get that installed, shall we, people? I'm going to stick it next to these ones. I've got one on a boosted, and it's an A class at the moment. The S is probably going to be superior to that. Lovely. I guess. Right. Okay, chums, now we need to leave the planet. For us to leave the planet, we need to fix the ship. So there's a few things that need fixing. Um, I'm going to go and collect some more materials. Uh, right, where's probably the best place to go to get materials? Let's just see. We need to get some dehydrogen jelly first. Oh, actually, there's some dehydrogen jelly already in the ship. So I just need some pure ferrite. Okay, well, um, one second. Let's just get back closer to the ship for a second. Let's uh, just stick down one of these. So I've got a load of ferrite on me. Okay, metal plating. I need to make some metal plating. And I need some oxygen. Right, well, a good place to get oxygen is from, like, hazardous flora. And we've also got to destroy hazardous flora anyway, as objective. We've got to get, like, 18 of them. There's some oxygen over here anyway. I can see an oxygen plant marker just there. So let's go grab that quickly. And, of course, my movement isn't as good because you know, it's a fresh save, isn't it? Go grab the oxygen. I might have another bash at trying to do that um, multi-tool thing. Yeah, fully charge it and try again. But to be honest, it'd be a lot easier once we've got a few modules in there. I'm going to scan a few things as and when I see them as well. But I'll reconvene with you in a bit when I've got all the materials I need. Okay, chums. Well, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for the laser again. But um, I'm running out of things to zap. Okay, we'll go around here. Zap this. Zap these little bushes. I'm getting close. I think I'm going to do it this time. I guess. We've done it. Brilliante. Well, that was fun. Cool. Right, eh? So we can pop that badge now. Sweet. And get all those things. 
Oh, we can put in some extra slots. Uh, I might stick some up in technology for a sec. There we go. Lovely. What else can we zap? Mm, grab that. Well, I've got enough to make loads of metal plating now. I think we've probably got everything that we need, to be honest. And what we do need is something of value. Now, those creature parts are worth quite a lot. But if we kill some more of these creatures, we can get some more diet raw steaks. They sell for quite a lot too, the raw steaks. So I'm just going to murder Kate a couple of these turtle cows. Take that turtle cow. And then hopefully we'll be able to buy ourselves a load of bits and bobs up in the actual station. Goodbye turtle cow. Now before I actually go up to the station as well, what I need to do is get myself some chromatic metal so I can spin that into, well, I'm going to, need to get copper to turn into chromatic metal. So there's copper over there. I'll go get a load of copper. Okay, and if I see any hazardous flora like that little git there, I'm going to blast them, get oxygen, but you need to get 16 of them, I think, and then you pop a milestone. Okay, chums, well, I mined out a load of copper and um, fell into a cave. And in here, I found a couple of these humming sacks. They sell for quite a bit up on the actual planet, well, up in the station. Pretty darn lovely, so that's a bit of a bonus. But anyway, I've got a load of copper now. So I've got 698 of it. Pretty darn lovely. I need more oxygen, so I might go and kill a couple more hazardous floras if I can find any. Yeah, when you when you don't want them, you can't find them. Or whatever, you know what I mean. Right, anyway, let's um, hoover up this, I think. Lovely. Bit of condensed carbon. Lovely jubbly. Now, something that I want to do is find an ocean on this planet, because there is a predatory creature on this planet that pops the actual badge for the apex predator I'm not seeing much in way of water oh actually there's a big lake back that way is that where my ship was that way i think it is but right by me oh yeah yeah there's the lake over there right by me i just saw a what looked like a relic site i might be able to dig up some treasure where was that ah just there okay Camera mode comes in handy. I guess it does. Let's go dig up that treasure. Ah, it's not the ones with the treasure. This one just gives you some story and some lore. Ah, well, okay. Well, well, we'll skip that as an idea then. All right, well, let's go back the way we came. Let's head towards my ship and let's go in that giant lake and see if we can find a creature. Right, well, chums, it's literally taken me ages to get to the water. <laughs> it took me like 15 minutes of walking here. It, it looked a lot closer. Okay, well anyway, let's go on in. Now I have heard, if you shoot the, these reeds, sometimes jellyfish pop out, and the jellyfish actually count as under, underwater anomalies, apparently. I don't know how true that is. I'll give it a go. People inside my comments on my last video said about it, so... I'll give it a go. Let's see if we can get some of these weird jellyfish to pop out. Come on, jellyfish. Usually they're everywhere, these jellyfish. They always get me. Mm, okay. No jellyfish right now, though. Come on, jellyfish. Where are you? Any second now, jellyfish. Come on. Well, they're taking their sweet time, aren't they? Let's try these spiky things. Oh, I need an advanced mine later for them. Okay. Let's try this then. Come on! Well, I can't get jellyfish to blank in spawn. They, normally they do. Oh well. Anyways, let's have a look for these giant creatures. That's not one. They usually come looking for me, these giant fish. They're quite evil. They're massive. I don't think this is deep enough in here for them. Well, we can we can look for them though anyway, regardless. It's that over there? It's not one.
Come on. Man, no jellyfish at all. Alright, well, I keep zapping things and see if I can get a jellyfish to spawn, but I'm not having much luck with that. Oh, better get some oxygen. Let's try over this way a bit. Okay, chums, well, I have come across an alluring specimen. I want to get ready with my scatter blaster. Let's grab one of these and see if we can make him jump out of here. There we go. Uh oh, reload. Take that year. Right, so we've got to kill three of them. I mean, I can't. I've been shooting loads of stuff underneath the water here, and I haven't managed to get a single jellyfish to appear. So I can't even put it to the test, even if I wanted to. Oh. Shoot this rock. I've shot loads of these rocks now. Nothing happens. What about these ones? I don't think I've shot these ones. Oh, I think they're just for show. I don't think you can blow them up. But yeah, I can't get jellyfish to appear. Normally, jellyfish would just ravish the freaking shines out of me, but for whatever reason, they're just not biting today. Let's try in this hole down here. No, still nothing, see? It's bizarre. Anyway, I better go get some oxygen. I don't think there's many other alluring specimens here. I think I'll have better luck in the ocean rather than here. No, I'm going to have to use... Aha! There he is! I've just spotted the big creature. i scan him. That's what I wanted. That's the apex predator. Done! Okay, right. I better find my ship now. But it'd be nice to get the other Aloran specimens done or to find these freaking things, you know? Right. I don't think there's any other alluring specimens in this lake. And I can't get the little freaking thinking jellyfish to spawn. Right, I don't think I've scanned these. Let's try zapping this, see if that... Oh, great. My advanced mining laser. I bet it's the advanced mining laser that lets you make the jellyfish appear. I mean, they're just not appearing. Normally, it's every five seconds I get jellyfish on me in water, but not this time. Bizarre. Anyway, I don't know where my ship is. Right, well, I've just selected the mission to destroy Hazardous Flora, so might as well zap that one as well. Yeah, I'm not really doing this in phase order. I'm just doing it in whichever order I want, really. Just, yeah, might as well. Oh, we've got another one over this way, apparently. 103 used this way. Okay, just over this hill, then. Just here. Sweet, I see you. Take that, you! Oxygen plant of evil! Okay. Really, I should be heading back to my ship, but I'm just going to hunt some hazardous flora. Holy fudge, I found, like, what? Three or something near here? Okay, right, one was zap the you. Pow! Zap you. Aha, oxygen plant? Or oh, no, just um, something else. Sweet, one just over here as well. Cool. Well, chums, I just popped up by a waypoint from the oceans, and um, these guys decided to attack me, and I popped another badge. Get out of it, you. And scutters. Like, yeah. Took that in the face. There you go. Take that in your tail, mate. Yeah, you little hammerhead, green bogey type looking things. Oh, you. Get back. Take that. Obliteration. Now you've got to do six waypoints and clear six of them with these little guys. Cool. I'll claim myself a navigational data. It'll pop up there in a minute. Sweet. 
Sweet, well I might as well head back to the ship and fix the ship now. Well jumps, I think this is the last hazard explorer that I've got to zap. So let's just zap that. There we go. Sweet, I'm going to pop that then. Lovely. Oh cool, got another shield upgrade. Nice. Ah, so we can get rid of the B class and replace that with an S. Got what have we got here? Underwater protection. Okay, come in handy, I suppose. We'll stick it over there. We've got three of them. All right, fine. Sweet. Might as well stick those in there. Done. Right, head back to the ship. Yeah, on the way back to my ship, I'm just going to do the milestone airborne. So you can see there, down below where I am right now, it says that I've done a little bit. So I'm just going to keep using my jetpack whenever I can. Fun times. Now something you can do, is you can use your jetpack against a rock face like the side of here. And you can sort of just hover in place. It shouldn't use your jet fuel. Well, that's the idea anyway. I don't know whether it's going to work on this. No, it's not working. Dang it. It has to almost be like a vertical cliff face or something, you know? Let's try it here. I don't think it's going to work though. No. Ow! I got hit by a freaking thing. What about on here? Yeah, there we go. It worked. It's working here. Yeah, that, that, that got me quite a lot, didn't it? So here we go. Let's just do that again. See you there. My, um, my jetpack isn't going down. It's hard to tell whether it's actually working or not, though. It uses a lot of oxygen doing that, too. So I might as well just use it as and when I can. I've got miles to go back to my ship. There you go, it's over there actually. Nearly there. I nearly managed to do this jetpacky thing. It's easier to do on a storm planet. And I figured, you know, two birds, one stone, might as well. Nearly done it anyway. Right, well, I think I've got everything I need to actually fix a cake this anyway. So there we go. Stick that in there, that in there. And that in there, that in there. Done. And uh, I'll worry about the rocket pack later on. Let's see if we can craft ourselves some warp fuel then. So I can make the antimatter housing. And to make the antimatter, I'm going to need some chromatic metal. So let's just jump out quickly. Stick down my refiner about a little bit of carbon in where's the chromatic there's the uh, copper get that going why that's going I might as well you know use a bit more of my jetpack oh ouch wait for it to refill we'll fly up there there we go Don't think I'm going to do it before that's finished. Mm, maybe. Ouch. <laughs> Lie up here. Great. Aha, it's finished. Right, okay, I'll take that out of there. Lovely jubbly, pick this up. We've nearly done this though now. You know? Whoa, I missed it. Dum 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 da da dum. Dum 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 da da dum. 
Oh, just maybe two more blasts. Maybe two more refills and we'll be done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One more and we've done it. There we go, we've done it. Sweet! Okay, cool. I'll claim that then. Sweet! Yes, we've got Supreme Movement Modules. Nice, don't mind if I do. Coolio! Lovely jubbly. Right, well I think that's pretty much everything I can do here. Apart from uh, the old going to the deeper part of the ocean and maybe taking on three more of those giant fish. Which technically I could do before we leave this system. Right, yeah, so I could aim there and go there. The only thing is I haven't got the ability to land on water, so I'm just going to have to land on whatever for now. Starship launch thruster fuel. Nice. Hyperdrive plans. Awesome. Microprocessors. We're going to need five of them. Okay. Let's just head down to the oceans and let's see if we can antagonize some giant fish, shall we? Well, there's one, 200 years away, and look, there's loads. When you get out to the deeper oceans, there's loads of those big predatory fish. So there we go. Makes it a little bit easier. Now got my underwater modules as well, so it makes it even easier. Swimming, heck yes. Let's go to the alluring specimens. Okay, so the alluring specimen icons show up in red. I still can't get any jellyfish to freaking spawn under the oceans, despite zapping stuff. It's it's bizarre, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. But apparently, if you if you can get jellyfish to spawn, then you can just shoot a jellyfish. But, um, you know, I like to live life dangerously. Or at least my copy of No Man's Sky wants me to live life dangerously. Jesus! Okay. Take that, fish of evil! Yeah, that'll teach you. Don't mess with Steve. Okay. Like Okay, my inventory is full. It's only going to give me some water jets and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to head back to my ship now. Oh, Child of Helios, hello there. Might as well talk to it. Lovely. I'm not going to kill it. Right, let's head on over to the old space station. And let's go sell a few things and see if we can buy those microprocessors, shall we? Okay, well, we've got some triumphant music as we go in. I guess. Lovely jubbly. We have arrived, located. Let's jump on and out. Let's go and sell some things. Look at her. Bum, bum, dum, bum, dum, dum. Right, sell. Might as well sell the silicate powder. Sell the albium pearls. Sell the cryptophosphate. We we'll keep one rancid flesh. <laughs> um, what else can we sell? All the raw steak. We we'll sell the mordite. And I think that's probably going to get us enough. But let's just have a look what we've got in here. Repair kit, planetary charts. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I'll hit buy then. Let's see if we can get the microprocessors I need. I need five of them. We can buy five. Perfect. Let's get that warp drive installed. I'll install it over here. Thank you. Sweet. And I think I've already made... Yeah, you know, although there's the antimatter. There's the warp cell. We only need to jump the once because we're going to be going over to um, the Nexus and I'm going to be picking up all my stuff that I put into that machine at the start, which is awesome. Let's go there. Go on, old Gorbury of freedom. Gorbory. Nice. we we'll just make one jump over to that. Sweet! Right, well, we've arrived, Gated. 
We should pop a badge for jumping system. There we go. And I should be able to call in the old Nexus. Oh, why can't I call in the Nexus yet? That's a bit weird. Usually you can call in the Nexus at this point. Dang it. Well, it's telling me to go. No, it's not telling me to go into the station. It's telling me to go to the drop zone. Right, let's pop um, the badge for jumping a system, shall we? Boom. Ah, base computer schematics. Now I can call in the Nexus. There we are. Nice. Let's head on in then. Let's go claim all my stuff. And then I think this is probably enough for part one. I don't want the videos to be huge. Really. Or I could just do one massive video, couldn't I? I could. I could just do one massive video. I'm going to do one massive video. Heck yeah. The whole playthrough. Yeah, no part one, two, three. Let's be Captain Steve the movie. Yeah. Heck yeah. Right, well, let's go and claim all the bits over here then. Hope you enjoy the movie. Hope you got your popcorns. Yeah, that was a bit of an on-the-fly decision, but that's what the sort that's what sort of thing happens around here. Yeah, let's get in here then. Let's um let's grab these. Sweet. A lot of this I can install straight in my technology, so I'm not really worried about my inventory getting a bit full. And to do with inventory getting full, I'm gonna grab all these. Sweet. Okay, we haven't got a ship fabricator inside of the old Nexus. I'll take those with me anyway. We can take these because we can sell those quite rapidly. Take them. We need the launch thruster fuel. I'm out of life support, so I definitely need that. We'll take some ship stuffage. Take that to spin into nanites. That to get the units. Ooh, okay, we do need all that other stuff. Let's um, just go up the ramp quickly. And let's see if I can install all of those slots into my exosuit up here for more slottage. So over at the back here, over by Celine, the lizard-faced lady with the tongue that flicks out, this one over here, there's this. And I'm wondering whether I might be able to go and install all of my upgrades in here. Let's see. Yes, we can. Brilliant. Let's go to town then. I guess. No longer have to worry about inventory size. Yeah, let's do some up in the technology. That'd do me. Brilliant, eh? It's a shame there isn't a ship fabricator in here. As we could have done all the slits, slots to our ship as well. well. We can go get all the rest of the stuff now. Hello, I'm back. Yes, please. Yes, please. All of that. Yes, that's not a care in the world. Now for slottage. Thank you very much. You're probably wondering why I need the gold. It's for the... Um, Minotaur Exo Bay. I mean, they do give you one. You can put it down, but it's one of the ingredients. There we are. Pop that. Is there any other missions that I haven't popped yet? Hmm. Uh, are we nearly done phase one? Almost. We've got to reach the first drop zone point. I'm going to just install all of this tech. I won't be a moment, moment people. Okay, yeah, chums, we've got to make 6,000 nanites, so I've got all this salvage data. I'm going to stick that in there. That's going to make me, what, 450 nanites? Might as well and spin that into nanites. Okay, yeah, right, well now I might just fly over to the station and sell a load of my other bits and bobs that I've got. So, I'll fly to the station, I'll see you there. Okay, chums, let's head on over to this Galactic Trade Terminal. And let's sell all those stasis devices, shall we? So stasis devices, where are you? They must be inside my ship. There they are. Boom. That's going to make me a little bit richer. Nice one. We've got all this salvage data. What I might do is duplicate that so I can turn it into more nanites, perhaps. But I'm going to go over to one of these vendors and I'm going to sell them 
all of my surplus modules okay so here we go so i only needed three of each and i went and got myself seven or eight of each so hopefully selling some so i can sell those they're surplus all those are surplus i need to keep the plasma launcher so i keep those mining beam i've fully upgraded that launch thrusters fully upgraded that i'm now eight thousand nanites you only needed six so there we go done I'll click that done dilly and done right New multi tool slot. It went a little bit mental for that, didn't it? Have I got any others I can put in? I don't think I have. Well, let's have a quick look. Hmm, okay, maybe I can. Nope, that's the max. All right, Coolio. Well, let's go to well, phase one, and we may as well go to the drop point, mountain way, people. All right, well, my dinner's about ready, I think. So you know, I'll just jump out in and out of my ship. I go see how long I've got till Dindins, and I'll be right back. Well, chums, my ship is only like a, what, a C-class? We've just had a shuttle fly in that's actually an S-class. I might actually swap my hauler for a shuttle just because it's an S-class. All right, well, if I'm going to do this, I need to get a move on. How random is that? Oh, I had my dinner, no, hence the, and it's actually the next day. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can make an offer on the life form ship. I negotiate price and I can do the exchange but I've already put all my tech in this one haven't I which means I've got to unpackage it oh you know what I don't really care about having a nice ship for this expedition I'm just going to upgrade the one that I have okay right well that's done now I've got to go and reach the first drop zone and then we're pretty much done phase one then let's get to the first drop zone and pick up our orders shall we people heck yes let's fly on out and let's go there liquidators are to bug destruction hey okay here we go let's go around here oh yeah and all that sort of shenanigans oh would you look at that someone's managed to put down a base okay when well, you do get the base computer plans yeah, people were telling me, oh, Captain Steve, no bases. Well, I didn't see any when I first done my first playthrough on my PlayStation D5, but maybe I was just super quick. Yeah, but now I'm seeing bases, bases pretty much all over the place. Yeah, very cool. I found a building near to the actual drop-off point, um, but I, I know that I'm going to have to fight another wave of these little green guys, but I don't really care, because we have a mission to clear six of these zones the scourge and the menace that is these little green guys take that you bite me in the backside would you all right that's not a peach it looks like one but it's not a peach take that yeah come on then yeah you missed me ha ow he got me all right, okay. From behind again, you little scutters. They try to flank you. Look at them. Get out of it. Yeah, you want some? Take that. There you go, you roustabouts. Ha ha ha! The captain remains triumphant. Okay, we'll hit this up. Lovely. Oh, there's a trader right there. A little bit of a frog in the throat. Have a little cup of tea. Wet the old whistle. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I guess this is the destination that we need to go to. Yeah, I'll have that little lunch box. Hopefully it's got a sandwich. Nope, sodium. Salty. Okay, I'll have this then. What's going on? Why are there creatures running around underneath me? Liquidator command broadcast follows. Here you go, I'll let you read this while I have a little drink of my tea. The drop zone has been secured. Congratulations to all surviving cleanup units. That's me included. Lovely. The scouts of the Vanguard have mapped out the prime infestation sites on this world. Now you must reach the nest and do your part. <laughs> I will do my part. Heck yes, I will. Little mini nods there as to starship troopers and... um. What the fudge? Get out of it, you. 
Sneaky devil! You want some? Okay. Come on then. I've got your numbers. I can get out of it. Okay, right. Let's go to the um, infestation site. Let's liberate that, that infestation site and return democracy to this planet. There we go, let's go. Yeah, if you haven't played Helldivers, it's it's actually pretty good. I've got a playlist on my channel if you're wondering if it's if it's for you. It's all right. It's a good game. I mean, what I would say is the missions are a little bit repetitive, says a man that loves freaking No Man's Sky and the repetitive missions on this. So, but yeah, I need to get better at it, I think. I'm good at shooting the stuff. I just don't know what I'm doing on the mission, so I'm just there killing everything, which is great support. But yeah, it's good. It's a good game. It's a good game. Right, anyway, let's go straight here. Now, this mech marker will take you directly to the location. Uh, no messing around, no approximation, none of that sort of stuff. But just be prepared that when you land and you go into there, you're going to be fighting the um, the giant vile queen. Let's go kill her and all of her vileness. I mean, I'd imagine she's not that vile in comparison to other creatures of the same race. You know, she's probably majestic and queen-like. Here she is. Take that in the freaking face, queen! Yeah, I've blown her helmet off already. Right, so you need to expose all of the fleshy parts. So just blow off all of her bony exoskeleton. There you go. You've set all of her legs. Take this. Queenie, queenie. Okay. And then the lower thorax at the back there. You've got the abdomen. There you go. There we go. That's all the bony exoskeleton off. She's now just a a lump of soft tissue. We can just do her in. Take that creature of evil. Yeah. Up a char. Done last jump attack. There we go. Took her out, people. Right. Now, we've got to pick up a load of these eggs. So... I'm just going to get as many as I dare. And then just pop inside here. Pop a little bit of the lore. Whoa, what just slapped me in the freaking face? Seriously, mate? You, sir, are evil. Well, I can't actually hit it now. All right. Ow! Fudge, you git! Why can you hit me and I can't hit you? Dang it! There we go, we got him for a second there. Ow! Fudge off, it's going to kill me at this rate. Okay. You're done. You better be. Freaking heck. Well, did that thing shut? That took some doing, though, didn't it? Right, get my health back. No, no, it didn't. It didn't even touch my... It says exo health freaking restored. It didn't do anything. I, I watched the bar. It did nothing. All right. Well, where's the console gone, then? Um... Where's my console? Oh, it's through here. Fine. So the adjacent room. Anything else that's going to slap me in the freaking face? No. Okay, cool. Oh, dear, people. The life of the Vanguard is never easy, especially when they're sealing tentacles. Right. The terminal has been clogged with viscous fluid. No doubt some lingering mucus from the brood mother. N nevertheless, nonetheless even, it remains active. The logs of the liquidator who uncovered this nest are available to read. Nice. Here follows the testament of liquidator 31, well, whatever that number is, of the Vanguard. Cool. Lovely. I was once like you, a mere cleaner, following the footsteps of the brave Vanguard units who dove into this heart of the vile nests. I cowered, scared to do my part, sentinels, broodlings, unspeakable horrors. I thought it would overwhelm me. And yet here I am. And like me, you two will rise. You have done your part. Yes, I have. And you two will follow the liquidators to glory. To glory and onwards. To glory and beyond. I guess. Exterminate the first nest. Consider it exterminated already. Right, here we go. Let's pop that then. Boom. We got that. Nice. Oh, okay. I've already reached maximum capacitize, apparently. Darn it. Okay. Well, I'll pop that one as well, then. 
Oh, multi tool has just been upgraded to B class. Nice. All right. Lovely. Be nice if they gave me those slots after that happened, wouldn't it? Then I could have implemented them. Okay. Well, hopefully I've got them in my um, exosuit inventory space. Maybe I can go and put them in. Yeah, look, I've got six that I can go put in when we're back up at the station. All right. Fine and dandy. We've got ourselves some posters. Nice. We can adorn whatever we wish with those. I guess we can. Right, I'm going to lift and shift the things from in here. We're having those into our pockets. There you go. Okay, well, let's head on out then. And we've cleared the first infestation site. You know what? I'm going to grab a couple more eggs while we're here, people. Whoa! Don't get angry. Don't get angry. Just a simple egg snatcher. Doing my part. I'm liberating these eggs. They're not yours. They're now mine. Okay, that's held in here. Right, I'll just wait for them to subside and then I'll go and nick a few more eggs, okay? And hopefully we get all the eggs we need. Okay, my shields have recovered. And um, at the moment I've got seven eggs and I need 13 of them to collect the set. All right. Okay, let's go. Ah! We'll have that. Thank you very much. We'll have that one too. Where'd it go? Oh no, vanish through the ground. I hate it when that happens. We got that one. Okay, I've been bitten a couple of times. But you know, I can tank this. I can tank it. I'm fairly sure I can tank it. I hope I can tank it. Right, here we go. We'll have that one. And that one. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I thought I'd be cheeky and go for another one. But there's a storm incoming as well. We've got 11 of 13. Give me my ship. Oh yeah. I don't know whether my shields are going to recover in here, to be honest. We could just go on to the next site. And we get the eggs completed at the next site. Or I could go back. Be brave. And get the last remaining few. I think I'm going to do that. But I think to do that, I should run back in the building. Then I can see when my shields replenish. Now look, the shields are already replenishing. Okay, we've got to find two more eggs. Let's see if we can find them. Zoom. Okay, right, here's one. Grab that. Grab that one. we got that one too. We're done. We're done. Right, let's get out of here. In the storm, you can use your jetpack for a longer period of time, so that helped, actually, so I didn't touch the floor. Right, let's go. See you. Up to the atmosphere. Up where the air is clear. hoo -ya! We escaped. With our organs intact, people. Organs intact! Okay, right. Well, I guess we're going to just press on with the expedition path. How far can I go? Hold on. That's a dissonant system. And I do have to go and take out a load of Dissonant Sentinels. Am I quite ready yet to take out Dissonant Sentinels? Hold on. Let's um just come out of there for a second. Let's uh, have a quick look-see at what we can pop. I'll pop that. Right, so we've got the new building recipe. Oh, yeah, Vine. Right, yeah. Sweet. Okay, so technically, we've got to go do this. And then it says about eliminating the sentinels anyway, so we're not far off. I might just go do this other drop zone. I don't think I've got the ability yet to put down my sentinel walker. Hmm. I mean, not my sentinel walker, my mine at all. All right, fine. We're, yeah, we're, we're just go. We're just go do some simpler missions for a second, people, before we go and take on the sentinels and give them hell. But there is a dissonant system right there. We can find another one later. It's, they're not hard to find. Well, I ran out of fuel, people, so um, I'm shooting some asteroids right now. Shooting some roids! Take that, you! Asteroid of evil, you space potato that shouldn't even exist! Ah, right. All engines are go, and I'm on my way. Looks like someone's put a mold and O2 base here. Sounds lovely! 
Well, Jums, while we're flying towards this planet, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you around my cockpit. Isn't it lovely? It freaking is, isn't it? Ah, spotless. I've been doing some cleaning. Anyway, hit that like and subscribe. Heck yes. Okay, better turn around now and control the ship. All right, there we are. Dang it. I'm off centre now. Right. But it is lovely, this cockpit, isn't it? Love my square windows. Yeah, it's very nice. Right, let's fly on down. Now, I do quite like this ship. It looks a little bit like the ship out of the cartoon Diplodos. Deep, deep. Da, 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 Diplodos. Two score cats, Peter and John. Da, down, da, down, da, 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 With the Diplodos, they're going to save the earth. Da, down, da, 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 da. They got a double mission with evil and its worst. Da, 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 da. If you don't know what the fudge I'm on about, it was a French cartoon called Diplodos, where there's two school kids, Peter and Joan, and they go up against the evil forces of Santos. Yes, from a parallel dimension called Diplodorian Rex, and they have the Diplodos with them to help them. And the Diplodos are like these little small dinosaur creatures. They're not that big. They're, they're quite. They're about the same size as a kid, and they've got the powers of stationary. Yes, you heard me. Stationary dinosaurs. Um. So there's like one called Stickum that's got sellotape that comes out of his mouth. And there's another one called Scissors and, you know, he acts like scissors. And there's one called Punch that's like a hole punch. But anyway, it sounds terrible. I'm, I'm not really selling it all that well. Trust me, watch an episode, you'll be hooked. It's freaking weird. You're going to love it. All right. Yeah, we better touch down here anyway and uh, take a look around. Yeah. Okay, well, this is, this is a lovely planet. It's got some lovely giant plants in it. It's like being at a garden centre. Ow! Dang it! Who put that there? Right. Yes, discovered by the Vanguard. Of course it was. We discover everything. We're freaking awesome, the Vanguard. Look at the size of these bloody triffids. Okay. Um, this way. Okay. 1,500 U's that way. Damn. That's far. Okay. All right. You've seen me walk. I think you know how to walk yourselves. I'll see you in a bit. Right, charms. Well, I got a little bit bored on the way there because it's freaking miles. So I figured I'm going to make myself some some lovely ribs to take with me. Yes, you heard me. I'm going to cook on the fly. So here we go. Let's um, let's grab this rancid flesh because you know that sounds delicious. And I'm just going to stick one in there. There we go. We're going to make some purged ribs. There we are. All for me. Yummy, yummy. Okay, right. There we go. There, there is a reason why I did that, people. It's actually a milestone, so I figured we'd do that. Might, might as well, might as we? There we go. We cooked up a nightmare, people. We can pop that badge now. Brilliant! Okay, I will continue on. We've only got 900 U's left to go. Well, hold on one second, people. Look at this cave. Look at the gnarly textures on the ceiling and the walls. Oh, that's pretty darn cool. No one mentioned that they'd put in... Well, I suppose it's not a new cave biome. It's just there was some nice textury bits. All right, I'm hoping that one day Hello Games puts a little bit more attention to their cave biomes. Maybe add in some creatures that can actually crawl the walls. You know, like it'd be nice to have some glowing slugs and catalillas and um, snail things. You know, that sort of stuff, like cave dwelling creatures. Maybe some albino creatures or critters that can't freaking see. I don't know, bat creatures that hang from the ceilings and fly down. Bat creatures? I guess. You know, we've got lots of land creatures. We've got lots of sea creatures. We've got no cave critters. Give us cave critters. Now, all the co all the caves look like they've been bored out by something. I know we've got these giant worms, but it'd be nice to have other stuff in there, like giant mole creatures or something. I just think we need more massive fauna inside of this game. I really do. It's awesome when you see a giant worm creature jump out, especially when it's a first-time player and it's the first time they see one. They're like, what the flying fudge is that? They literally crud their pants. That needs to happen more often. It does. Heck yes. I would like players playing No Man's Sky to be wearing brown, just in case, you know? It's like right now on this this planet, it'd be cool if something just popped out of the ground right now. It could be some big floral tentacle thing and flapping about in the wind. Who freaking knows? Could be all sorts. Anyway, let's head on over here. Ah, there's comms balls everywhere. This must be the place where we need to be. Let's go get our orders. 
Now, before I get my orders, I'm hitting up this save beacon. These save beacons give you navigational data. You can trade in the navigational data and get yourself some secure site maps. Oh, great. Here we go again. Take that! Look, they're going to flank me. They're coming around the back of me. Yeah, you leave that area of my freaking body alone. They're after my posterior, people. After the posterior. Okay, right. We've popped the badge for the amount of ammo. Heck yes, we've been unloading it into these little green critters. Reload, reload! Ha ha! Take that! Oh, they're all running away now. They know who's boss around here. I'm freaking Rambo in it, mate. Take that! Yeah, you want some? I heard you behind me. Oh, you! Whoa! Mate! Whoa! Right, freaking melee, you hit you. Oh, well, no, I won't. Because I forgot the button. Take that! Yeah! We can have it. Punched him as he went into the ground there, people. Git bags, though, eh? Git bags. Right, now I can hit up this. And you'll see that I get some navigational data. Should appear above my head in a second. Now, you can use that navigational data as well to call your ship to you. I mean, mine's miles away, so I may as well, mine I. Brings it in. Lovely. Right, let's head on in. Let's go get our orders. Hello from South New Jersey. Hello, South New Jersey. Oh, somebody from YouTube there, fellow YouTuber. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> See Res Records on YouTube. All right, here we go. Let's hit this up then. Cool, yeah. Liquidated command broadcast follows. Congratulations and celebrations for securing the drop zone. Your continued survival placed you in the 61st percentile of all cleaning units. You've had a bit of singing from me this morning. I'm rather cheerful. The scouts of the Vanguard have mapped out prime infestation sites on this world. Now you must reach the nest and do your part. Acknowledge order. I say I'm rather cheerful. I've just finished my cup of tea. That is now an empty mug. If you want this mug, it's on my merch store. Anyway, get back on with it. I do my part in daily duty. I will. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Spotify, YouTube, he's everywhere, that guy. Reload. Take that in the freaking face. Yeah, that made him run away. Hello from all around the world. Uh, I quite like these. Did someone get here first? Oh, well, I bet that was you, wasn't it? But it was. Oh, yeah, right. Let's go then. Oh, dear. My life support is dangerously low. Let's fix that. Fix the cater. Okay. Yeah, lovely. I'll pop that badge then. Oh, we got some slottage. You know what? I think I've got enough slottage in the tech now. Look, it's pretty much done. Uh, what about down here? I think I've actually finished it, in fact. So we, we will stick it into there. Righto. Let's take to the skies. Spin this around. Now, if you didn't have all those um, modules to put in and make yourself like, you know, a freaking tank on legs and have all the storage ever. Every single jump, go to the station, go to the exosuit vendor, and there's like this big capsule on the wall. Hit that, and you can actually put in a storage slot. You have to pay for it, but it's not that much money. It's units. And there's also one inside the Nexus, so each jump you can do it there as well. I did, I think I did it in my best tips guide. Can't remember. Take that. It's something I do every single time I'm on an expedition. I'll show you the next time I'm in the station, or if I go to the Nexus, I'll show you where it is during this little mini-movie. I say mini-movie, it's going to be quite a large movie by the looks of things. Ah! Don't you try and bite me, you freaking bags! You keep those freaking mandibles to yourself, mate! Say that! Ha-ha! Yeah, now what are you going to do? Oh, he's going to sit on me! Ah, you git bag! Sat on me. Do you see that? That's what happens if you get too close to this dang thing. Right, I've blown up your last bit of skeleton, mate. Yeah, what are you going to do now? You're going to die. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> Bug slime everywhere. Okay, right, let's go in then. Woo-wee! Okay, let's uh, interact with this lovely slimy console. I'm just going to chuck that away. I'm, I'm not putting that in my pockets. Heck no, I'm not. 
Right, I sponge the lingering slime from the terminal. Yes, go away. The liquidator's logs are once again available. Oh, goody, goody gun drops. Here follows a testament of liquidator. It's the same chap again. Of the vanguard. Sweet. I don't know how I feel about reading his diary entries, to be honest. I hope this doesn't get weird. Swarm after swarm exterminated countless colonies, purged, and yet they keep coming, keep growing. They would consume us, were it not for the sacrifices of the vanguard. Ah, liberty! See how the mother protects her grubs. Think what would, what would do if they left them to multiply in peace. Yet yeah, there'd be a lot of them, wouldn't there? And so I've marked this next for you, liquidator. This hive of vile infestation. If you're reading this, then you have done your part. Consider that already exterminated. Yes, let's go get them. Uh, right. I hate the vile broods. I don't know. You know, sometimes you can find some pretty friendly ones. And they're actually, they're actually really cute. Oh okay, yeah, let's pop that. I shouldn't say that, being the vanguard. <laughs> right, we need to get some um, phosphorus at some point then, I guess. Right, where are we going for this? No, 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 no. Where's my marker? Oh, no, we just done it, didn't we? All right, let's go in then. Let's claim that. Unstable plasma. Ten prepackaged plasma launchers. Lovely. Supreme plasma launcher upgrades. Nice. Okay, can I install any of this? Oh, we've also got that too. Sweet. Right, you know what? I'll fly up to the station... And I'm going to install all the tech that I can install. And I'm going to show you where you can upgrade your stuff inside of the station. Like your um, your inventory space. Because you really you could do it every jump. And we've done a couple of jumps already. I mean you can jump back to those stations and um, catch back up. But anyway I'll show you what I mean. Okay so in the station you're looking for this logo. Which is your exosuit vendor. It's usually near to this guy in, in a tube. But head on over to this tube here exosuit upgrade and every station will let you at least put in one so there you go and if you've got extras to install you should be able to interact with it again but well, there we are we've got that in awesome okay right now to get all my technology in because i didn't do too much i need to also do um my multi-tool expansion slots now so if i head on over to the multi-tool vendor which is where are you He's somewhere up here. Ah, it was right there. And uh, we'll go into this terminal. I should be able to put in those slots. Here we go. Insert multiple slots. And you can actually move them if you wanted to. It's like if I didn't want it there, I could... No, no, I can't click there. I think that's almost to its maximum slottage now. Cool, yeah. Right, I installed the tech. Okay, chum, so our next mission is to scrap and eliminate 32 Sentinels. Now, I've put in all of my tech. Hopefully, you guys have out there at home. So, I've got that all in there. My Starship's looking fairly okay. I mean, I could take advantage maybe a little bit of that boosted slot that's right there, eh? But, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Let's just bunch these together. There we go. Pulse engines could be better, I have to say. I'm getting through fuel like nobody's business. Anyways... Now that I've done that, to find the Sentinels with ease, now I've got a little bit of navigational data, a little tip. Sometimes you can find navigational data lying around up here. There's little orange cubes like there. You see there? We can have that. And sometimes you can come across these crates, interact with those. And sometimes you can find a few things around here as well. The ones with the red lights. But usually it's just units. But anyway, I've got a navigational data from there. Once you've got your navigational data, you need to go see this map guy here. Speak to him, and we're going to be swapping it for a specific chart map. So we go, a specific chart map, and we want secure sites. I'm just going to get as many as I can of those. Okay, I can have five. All right. Sweet. Nice one. Thank you, Bob. Let's go. Okay, right. So now we need to find one of those sites. Let's go into here, go into my exosuit, and let's just pop one of these maps. Supply Depot. Yeah, it's as good as any. And um, when you attack the Sentinels there, you're going to also get a load of extra stuff. Manufacturing facilities offer cover, though. So it's personal choice which one you want to go for. I, I don't really mind. Right, now we've just got to find where it's marked this at Depot. It's over this way. 
And we're off. Let's go there then. On my way. I guess. See you there. Now you can shoot and destroy this target from the air, but I'm just going to do it all on on foot. I'm going to test out my new multi tool. I've got my plasma launcher installed. I've got my um, pulse spitter, and I've also got I've got, got a freaking lack like of a, a personal freaking army. Here we go. Let's let's do this. Okay, right. Hopefully we don't get those green critters pop out. Oh no. The green critters are popping out of the ground, aren't they? Okay. Right, we're just going to take them out with these then. There is actually a mission to try and take out six with one shot. Go on. Or, or something. Take that. No, you don't. Get out of it, Sentinel Scatter. I know what, I'm going to use my Pulse Spitter. I really don't like that little dog. Oh no, see what I mean? He took out my life support. The sentinel dogs are OP. Freaking have it, dog. Look at it. Hardly takes any damage when you shoot it either. It's worse than a freaking walker. They need to fix that dang thing. And it can go invisible. And it can get repaired. I'm going to use their own shields against them. Oh no, I'm going to die. Freaking dogs. They're impossible. Let's get out of here. Dang you, dog. Right, let's turn around. Where are you? That got him. Freaking get bag. I hate the sentinel freaking dogs. Okay, right. If I can blast these cannons, I and these canisters, I get my freaking health back. Oh no, there's another one. Right, I'm gonna have to get rid of this quickly. But get up close and personal. It's gonna do the headbutt attack, but I need to get it before it's something repairs the dang thing. Got it. I hate the dogs. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Take that, you. Come on, then. Yeah, I'd much rather fight a walker than one of them dogs. Ah, I need to get rid of that little healing one. Ah, man, they keep making holes in the ground. Oh, for fudge sake. Give me that kind of stuff. Okay. Pretty unreliable that. I need I need a canister. 
I could do it with another one. Man, he's been fully repaired. Oh man, this landscape here is terrible. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for a, a different site altogether, eh? Oh no, seriously? Okay, I think I'm outgunned. I think I need to run away. Or at least consider doing this from the sky. Okay, let's turn it around. Ah, come on, turn! Dang you, turn! Whoa, Nelly. Okay, fly up through the atmosphere. Up where the air is clear. But come on! No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That doesn't work anymore. You used to be able to get it to go to one star if you left the planet's atmosphere. Land! God damn it, land! Train manipulator! Train manipulator! Oh ho ho! Somehow we managed to get four targets with one grenade. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to sit here. Wait for my health to go back up, people. Oh my days, that was insane. Okay, right, have I got anything I can eat? Yes, I can eat this. I should get back my shields. Woo-wee! Oh my days, people. That was insane, wasn't it? I nearly died, like, a bazillion times. Just don't tell the vanguard I run away, okay? Right, let's find a site that's actually got a building for cover, shall we? We don't have to do too many more sentinels to pop this badge, and then hopefully I'm going to get given my minor tour, which makes things a little bit easier. But I got, I got battered, didn't I? Okay, here we go. So those people that say that combat isn't difficult, it can be. <laughs> it can be if you choose the wrong planet and if everything gangs up on you at the same time like it just happened to me budging heck that was um that wasn't fun okay right now i think this is the same planet where i popped the badge snow blind before if i can land and just walk about in this storm for a little while we could be on to winning that badge as well. Let's uh, just pop it over here. I'm not going to land right on it, or else those little green guys are going to pop out, aren't they? So I'm just going to walk around up here for a second. Let's see if we can find the badge that I'm looking for. Where is it? Snowblind or whatever it is. Snowblind. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, look, it's going up right now. So I'm just going to run around in circles, people. Until that gets to the top. All right, I'll see you in a bit, because it's going to take a little while to get that, isn't it? Well, chum, sadly, the storm's clearing. So I might have to stay on this planet a bit longer. But first, let's do what we need to do here. And um, get that sorted. Right, so firstly, I might as well get rid of the menace. The green guys, they're going to pop out here, aren't they? Okay, all right. Well, let's just top up the old hazard protection, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, we've got more sentinel drones i think i only need to take out like three of them or something oh no he's gonna get repaired isn't he take that well hopefully i won't have to contend with a sentinel dog yeah there's one of those fixing ones take it there you go Coat can looking git.
Right, so that should be enough. I think I've done enough anyway. Let me in. Dang it. Open up. Let's go in, let's take cover. Okay, let's interact with this and shut the alarm off if we can. I'll just go for anything. Well, I can only do one anyway. Shoot the cameras. That's probably not going to do anything. There we go. It didn't do anything. Get out of it, you. Right, we'll just wait for the Sentinels to shut down. We'll see if we pop the badge. Hopefully I get given something useful. There we go. Scrap metal. Done. I'm going to here and I can pop that badge. Let's see if we get something useful to help us with combat and stuff. Exosuit modules, Atlantium and salvage glass. Nice. Okay. Right. Let's pop all the glass. And let's get some of this stuff put in then, shall we? Nice. That's going to up my life support. Fantabulous. What have we got here? We've got some modules for our multi-tool. Okay. I think that needs to go near the bolt caster, but I don't think I've got a bolt caster actually installed. I don't think it overly matters. I think it boosts a lot of the weapons inside of your tech anyway, so we'll get that in there. Done. Put that in there. Okay, that's broken the tech. Let's see what we've got. Explosion range. Well, that's a pretty good one. Let's, let's put that on the booster slot. There we are. Okay. All right. Well, that's a little bit better. Now, what I do want, though, is I want the, um, the flame type ad adapter for this so I can burn stuff. Hopefully, we get given that. I was hoping to get given it on that mission, to be fair, but we'll have a look what else we have. We've got one more of these, Sentinel Weapon Shard. I think that'll break the tech if I put any more in there, because I've got three. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's pop those, pop that. Yeah, and I think we're about good. Yeah. All right. We've got this, Crusher Grub. Now, I have got some grubs on me. Did find them. There we go. Where's the grubs? Grubs, grubs, grubs. I swear I have some grubs on me. Did have anyway. Oh, there they are. All right. We've crushed one. Let's head on outside. Jesus. Okay, let's head back inside. <laughs> let's just shoot it from the door. Like that yeah how'd you like them apples got it cool I'll just wait for the sentinels to stop searching for me Hopefully we'll have another storm rolling in a bit, and then um, I can get that storm done as well. Okay, there we are. We can pop that badge. I think the sentinels have stopped looking for me now. We can can but hope. Let's pop that one. Sweet. Now I'm going to wait around for another storm to roll in. So I can get that snow blind done, the, the one that's down there. So I'm just going to hang about for a bit. Okay, chums. Now pretty much every single planet is one of these uh, Val Brood planets. You can see just above my head, Val Brood planet. Oh, it's just there, actually, Val Brood planet. Anyway, what I'm looking for is this juicy grub marker. So if you couldn't crush one of those grubs, I'll show you what they look like while waiting for a storm to roll in. Let's head on over here. dum 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 dum, -dum. Here we go. There's going to be a grub somewhere around here. 
So, need my manipulator. Sometimes they're under the ground. There's the little guy. Got him. Sweet. And that's where you find your juicy grubs. Come on, Storm! Aha! There is a storm coming in now. Well, might as well just run around mining this for a bit. Lovely. Get some deoxide. I don't think we need deoxide for anything. But might as well do two things at once, eh? There we go, that'll do. Okay, right. Here we go. Hopefully it's going to start going up as soon as the storm kicks in. Come on. Do with some flat land. Hopefully I'm not going to upset the sentinels down here. Come on, storm. Hmm. There we go. That should do the trick. It should be going down now. But now it's just giving me a different message. Sometimes it's annoying. I just want that to stay there. Yeah, I, I know. There we go. Cool. Oh, you can press right on the D-pad. There we go. Hopefully I'm going to do it in one go this time. Come on. Run like the wind, Captain. Run like the wind. I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, fudge and heck. There's lightning. Don't hit me. Just keep running, Steve. Pretend it's not happening. It's just a little bit of electricity. Yeah, keep going. Jesus. But Jesus. Freaking heck. I'm going to get toasty in a moment. Okay, I'm going to... um. Up my hazard protection. Come on. Keep going, Steve. No, run, 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 run. Dive and roll. You can't do rolling, can you, on this? Oh, Storm Crystal. Have that. Thank you very much. Right. Come on. Please give me enough storm to pop this badge. I don't want to wait around for another, like, ten minutes. Ah, run, let's do this. It's almost there, people. What? Pirates attacking me in a storm with lightning. You're having a laugh, mate. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to go inside the building, I think. Wait this one out. Yeah, people. Don't judge me. Yeah, I know I'm part of the vanguard. It's not the vanguard thing to do. Ah, it's not been my day, has it? Sentinels, pirates, freaking are oh, my days, people. You know what? I'm just going to sit on this chair. I'm going to go make myself another cup of tea in real life. And hopefully by the time I come back, I'm not dead and everything's good. And hopefully the world's a better place. And tea always does that. I've got my own brew, by the way. My own brew it can be found on cherizina.co.uk. Okay, chums, well, there's nothing in the world that a good cup of tea doesn't fix. I mean, we've got alarm bells ringing around us, pirates, all sorts of shenanigans. Cup of tea. Right, I want to put this inside my multi-tool. We need some phosphorus, so I'm going to look for a hot planet. Yeah, let's get off this chair. And let's, um, let's get out there, shall we, people? Is there a phosphorus planet inside of this system? Please say that there is, and I'll go grab some. Phosphorus, there we go. We go in there then, people. Yeah, right, well, I've found a phosphorus deposit, which is flying there now. I don't want to land on it. Oh, it's moving rather sluggishly. Okay, cool. Let's uh, land right here then. Let's go get our phosphorus. And then I can actually set things on fire when I shoot them, which would be freaking lovely, wouldn't it? Okay, right, here we are. Need our train manipulate. What's going on above me? Oh, okay. Fair enough. These new dynamic shadows are awesome. Right, here we go. Ah! Right, I'm going to mine all this and we'll get that weapon attachment installed. Okay, well, I've got enough to put in that. Chkapow! 200. Done, done, and done. Didn't even mine it all out. Pretty cool. Awesome. So now we can set things on fire. Lovely. Righto, um, so expedition, what's next then? Um, I guess we're going to go, we've done all of drop zone three. No, we've got to do that. So we're going to go there. 
Drop zone three it is then, people. The gods to liberty beyond the stars. Up cha and we're on our way. Meow. Oh, get out of it, hostile scan. And we're getting out of here before that hostile scan can take place. Yeah, scan me now. We're off. Ha <laughs> ha! Catch me if you can. Hmm. That's a good brew. While I'm flying through space, I'm just using my little portable refiner that I've got on me. Just to spin stuff into nanites. I'm going to spin all these into nanites. There we go. Let's get that on the bake. Meow. Why not? There we go. Passes the time travelling, doesn't it? We're just approaching drop zone three now, people. Now, sometimes when you're flying down to the, the actual drop zone, if you see any comms messages pop up, usually it's an indication of where to go. You saw that just move this way slightly. I don't know whether I should be moving that way slightly as well, but nope, didn't see... Oh, look, hold on, there's a comms ball just there. Let's head to that. Let's see. Oh, look, there's a whole load of comms balls there. This must be where we've got to be. We're going to probably have to fight a load of those little goblin creatures again. And, um, whoa, loads of those. Yeah, let's jump on out. Where are they? This is fine. Play <laughs> that, you. Now they're going to get flame damage. What the fudge? Two behind me. Just set them on fire now. Hopefully they're slowly burned to death. Yeah, lovely. With this, you sort of have to shoot in front of your target, and then they run into it. There you go, look at that. Just set them on fire. And hopefully, they'll just die from the, the, the burn damage. Sweet. I think we got them all. Yep. Yeah. Okay, go. Let's go on in. Not my days. There's some weird messages there. Right, there we go. Liquidator command broadcast follows. Congratulations on securing the drop zone. Your continued survival places you in the 80th percentile of all cleaning units. <laughs> yes. The scouts of the Vanguard have mapped out the prime infestation sites in this world. Now you must reach the nest and do your part. Acknowledge order. Sweet, I'll do my part. Lovely jubbly. Let's go do this then, shall we? Let's claim that. Nice! We've got our Minotaur combat deployment set. Brilliant. And we can put in a few extra slots on our multi-tool. This is all good stuff. Sweet. Okay, we're going there then. It is very toasty. You're quite right. Let's go. Don't park here. <laughs> oh, some of them made me giggle. Yeah. Wow. We're off. How far is that exactly? Oh, it's not far. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. All right. Well, when that happens, I fly up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Spin it around. And bring it down. Okay. Right, well, it looks like we can deploy our, um, our exomech, but it hasn't got hardly any tech in it right now. And I don't think they're going to give me a chance to install locate it unless we just park a little way away and then go there. I think that might be the plan, people. Right, I'll see you when I get there. Right, well, I don't want the brood queen to pop out and bite me, so I'm just going to land slightly offset from here and land around here that this will do hopefully mm, looks like we're landing in a storm which is never a good thing now if i put down this chicka pow and go in and go into the exocraft i should be able to move things around in here 
Okay, we'll put that over there. Right. Okay, there's not much we can boost right now. Let's see what we've got given. We've got given a few bits. Where did it give me them? Okay, they're in here somewhere. Right, here we are. Stick that there. We've got this that we can stick on there. Okay. Aha! These are what we wanted to put on the boosted slot. Multi-tool AI unit. Stick that in there. Oh, fudge. I'm burning to death somehow. Get in the ship. Okay, let's, let's see if we can continue building the exomech from inside the safety of this, shall we? There we go. Done. Let's uh, charge that up. This looks like it's a different laser, even though it looks almost identical. I'll just stick that on that boosted slot for now. And we'll charge that up too. Right, and it needs carbon to power itself. So let's uh, stick a load of carbon into my, my Minotaur as well. I think that's all it needs. To recharge itself. Yep, yeah, organic elements. Organic elements. Oh, this one's not fully charged. That's that. Uh, Okay, now it's ready for combat, and we've got the AI modules in. I think I'm ready for combat. Let's go do this, shall we, people? Come on then, buddy. Sweet, he's going, yep. Yeah. Take this! Aya! Right, he's on fire. Let's just um, stick a couple of them under him. Right, I think I'm gonna just jump inside this building while this storm's out there. Let my exo mech do a bit of damage. You, sir, are a git bag. Now get rid of that. Pop back out then. Do a bit more damage. And you're done. Bang fudge for that, mate, because it's freaking horrible out there. Okay, right. Let's go interact with this. Residual goop. Go reside somewhere else, residual goop. Yes, I sponge the lingering slime, blah, blah, blah. Yep, here follows a statement of the liquidator's vanguard. I have followed this vile brood across the planet and moon from star to star and sector to sector. And now you do too. Yeah, yeah, cool. I have done what it was asked. I have done my part and now my life and theirs are entwined. Vanguard and brood hunter and hunter. A dance to the death. Sweet. Yeah, we've done it. Done, diddly and done. It's given us the blaze javelin. I'm not overly into the blaze javelin, to be honest. I'll probably just sell it. Yeah, probably just sell that. Okay, I don't know why that popped up, but there we are. Blaze Javelin units, I'll sell those and hopefully find some S Class Scatter Blasters instead, or um, the Pulse Spitter, sorry. Alright, let's pop that then. Chicka boom. Lovely jubbly. Nice. So, next off, we've got Phase 4. We've got to go there, there, and we've got to take out a load of um, Corrupted Sentinels. We've got to take out 50 hostiles in our exomech, destroy four walkers. Yeah, we've still got a lot to do, haven't we? Okay, all right. Onwards and upwards, people. Right, now, before I go anywhere, I'm going to be taking this with me. So there we go. I'm just using the delete option. Take that with me. Lovely. So we can put it on our next planet, basically. Let's go. Up from the atmosphere. Zoom. And we could take on those corrupted sentinels now, couldn't we, really? So if I find a system that's got dissonance... Oh, there was one right there. Look at that. Well, that's handy. Right next to where we just were. Dissonance system. We'll go there. 
Papa Chow! Well, I'm up in the station. I'm just going to sell the Blaze Javelin. I'm not overly into it. Um, we've already installed as many as we can of the Sentinel Weapon Shard and also the Plasma Launcher. Now, I was hoping to buy some Pulse Spitter modules here. I'm not finding an S-Class one, but I will keep for the hunt. I also went over to this, upgraded my slot. Now, I can call in the old Nexus and upgrade another slot. Um, I'll show you how to do that, just in case you haven't been doing that. Cool, yeah. So from the quick neck menu, I'm just calling in the old Nexus. I'm going to fly in. We're just going to go see the old uh, the lizard lady at the back, Celine. Sweet. I'm jumping out. Lovely jobs, I guess. Head on over here. Now, this is my PC save. I'm just going to go talk to this guy for a quick moment. Uh, collect expedition rewards. Righto. Title drifter. You know what? I think I might have all the chitin, you know, the chitin stuff that I've been picking up right now. I might just change my look and just update it each time there's an update to the latest set on my PC save. Let's do that. You know, I'll leave this in just in case you haven't done it. So you leave the race as anomaly and go to head and you should be able to find. Ah, there it is. Chitin mandibles. I guess I've got to actually complete the expedition before I can get all those parts, even though I did just accept them and collected them from here i believe ah yeah chitin spurs chitin gauntlets oh right okay we haven't got the full set yet i guess that's going to be here yeah there's the mandibles and the exoskeleton we'll do it when i complete this phase then so anyway selena's over the back here i don't know whether i showed you this earlier or not but here's the actual exosuit upgrade there we go go into here you can install one there lovely job if you've got any more on you, you should be able to re-interact again and go to town but anyways that's done Right, now I need to scan the planets and look for the one with dissonant. That one is not dissonant. Hold on, has everything already been scanned in this system? Is this like a special system? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, that's not dissonant. Nope. Nope. There it is. It's a little moon. Is there any others? No, it is just this little moon. Gangkoka. Okay, let's have a look for that then. All right. Bit of a weird name, eh? All uh, right, uh, but up, dum, dum. Not seeing any moons around that one. Uh, aha! It's always the last one I look at, isn't it? Okay, well, there we are. That's the one, and we're on our way. I'll see you there, people. Corrosive moon, fungal mold. Right there. Well heading down to the old planet. If you haven't hit that bell or hit that like and subscribe, I've already done this once, but telling you again ha, heck yes be good to see you next time people i do these every expedition sweet okay oh looks like we're coming down at the oceans on this one uh, i just want to get inland all right fun times let's head towards that comms ball Don't want to land on ocean. I want to land on land, if possible. It's hard to see any land because oh, I can't see the comms ball now. Oh, there we go. Is this still the planet I want? Yes, it is. Right. I was sure it was a moon. I didn't think it would have oceans, being a moon. Normally, moons don't have. Did I actually go to the wrong planet or something? Who freaking knows, people? Anyway, let's let's just touch down here. Unless it's just a very shiny planet. This is a very shiny planet. It wasn't water at all. All right, well, we'll just land here then. Gordio. I don't want to land at a waypoint, or else I've got to fight all those little green demons again, haven't I? Right, now that we've landed on the planet, though, I should be able to pop a map, which was going to give me sentinels. If I can't spot a sentinel, that is. Let's have a look, see if I can spot a sentinel. There's not gravitino balls on... Oh, there is. There's gravitino balls. Brilliant. Okay. When there's Gravitino Balls, if you just pick up a Gravitino Ball, it makes the Sentinels go freaking mental. Usually when there's Gravitino Balls, they're everywhere. It's a little bit odd. Let's head on over this way then. Let's go get a Gravitino Ball. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Run like the wind, Capitano. I can hear weird electrical noises everywhere. Maybe that's new to the dissonance systems. There we go. 
There we go. Here they come. That's going to really make them angry. So I put it on a one star, actually. That's not so bad. Oh, come on. Oh, no. no. Find me. I want to be found. Where are they? Oh, for fudge sake. Ah, there they are. Look, you didn't look very hard, did you? I couldn't see you either, though, so, you know. Come on, then. Come and get me. Right. Okay, let's, um... Let's put down... Ah! Get out of the menu. Let's put down this. And let's get in. Let's do the combat inside this. Tag that. Boom. Okay, right. So this should be counting towards the 50 kills in the Minotaur. And the kills towards the Corrupted Sentinels. Let's lock in one of these badges so at least we can see the progress that we're doing. So I think it's this one. Yep, we've killed two so far. Send in some more, please. Round two. Fight. I guess. Come on. Where are you? There they are. Take that, Sentinel tank. Yeah, pretty darn easy to be fair. Oh, I'm getting shot from something. But what? There we go. I picked up a new joypad. It's actually a PlayStation pad. It's all black. It's actually really cool and sexy. Say that, you. Oh, you're having a freaking laugh, mate. Where'd he go? Oh, my days. It's hard to see stuff on this planet. Ow! Okay, you got some health back there. We needed it. Nearly got the better of me. Take that. Can I just pull this button down? Oh, I can. Okay, that's better. Oh, man. Oh, stop it. He's repairing them. There we go. Take that. Yeah, you can just hold the fire button down. That's easier. Okay, let's get these canisters, get some health back, get some glass shards. Oh, dear. They're right there. Take that. Sweet. Done. I bet if you fully upgrade this mo this exomech, it'd actually be pretty darn cool. I can't wait to see the new exomech that we're going to get with the um, fire attachment. That should be awesome. Take that. Scatter. Oh, there's no one there. Get that one. So we're on 14 kills so far. It's not bad. Can I sneak a cup of tea? Ah, yummy. Oh, my dice. Get that one. I'm getting a bit better at this now. The turn circle on this thing is a little bit weird to get used to. If you can catch these guys as soon as they spawn... They kind of get stuck in like a, a stun loop of having to heal each other. I'm actually finding it easier to see them now, now that it's got darker, because they glow a little bit. Now, it doesn't help with all these crystals on this planet also glowing the same purple, it has to be said. Uh oh. Wrong one. Hold on, what's shooting me? Oh, a little, little crazy dude, look! Okay, yeah, right. Oh, there's no one there as well. Missed them two. Aha! I've got one behind me too. Kaboom, you're gone. Okay, we've got 21 so far. Any more for any more? Ah, something over there. Not that I can really see it, but I think I got it. Maybe. 
Okay. Any more? For any more? I can hear something, or is that my own exo mech? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, they, there, look. They're still really well hidden, aren't they? There's nothing around by my feet. Nope. Okay. Have we just destroyed all of them? Well, I think we have. I think we won. Dang it! I didn't want to win. Oh, well. We did that then. I guess we win. Okay. Well, let's um, take that with us then. And I might have to go to a new dissonant system. I think it shuts down the Sentinel activity. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if we can pick up another Gravitino ball. Let's see if we can upset some more Sentinels or whether they've now disabled for good. Uh, there's no corrupted boss Sentinel. Uh, yeah, you get the big tanks, but they're not really boss-like. They're not really the same as like the walkers, are they? I would kind of like to see. There we go. Okay, where's my exo mech? Okay, let's call him in. I would like to see a corrupted sentinel type boss. Maybe a giant scorpion. Uh, I mean, I'm going by the same vein as the spider tanks. Or even just a massive great big tank with rocket launchers on the back of it or something. That'd be cool. Or even a corrupted sentinel walker. Maybe with four legs, more like an at, at That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I mean, they put something similar recently into um, Helldivers. So anything like that, that'd be cool. Heck yeah. What would you guys like to see in the viewer? Uh, sound off. Let us know in the comments. Heck yeah. What do you think a, a, a Sentinel boss should be like for corrupted Sentinels? I, I think my favourite idea would be like an Ed 209 type thing or a um, or an ATAT type looking thing. I might have to do a poll, you know. Yeah. And then maybe do some concept art. I might use AI to try and help me. Yeah, that could be an idea. Do a little poll. Happy child, take that you. Zappity zap, don't come back. Okay, right. Any more for any more? I've only got to take out one more. I wonder if that mirrors thing over there counts. We'll find out. Did that do the trick? Mm, don't think it did, actually, did it? Well, they're not sending any more after me. Or if they are, I'm not finding it. Oh, there he is. Ow! Dang it, when they get that close, you can't hit the dang things. There we are. Okay, I'm going to head back towards my ship, where my ship is. Where did I put my ship? There it is, over there. Now, we've killed the 32. But in this uh, walker, I've got to kill, like, 50 anyway. So if I just go on to the next phase, where is it? Um... Phase 5. Okay, there we are. Let's see how many hostiles we've done with this. I'm going to say and install new tech. What new tech? There's no... No new tech. Okay. Okay, so we're on 32. Might as well just continue on a bit. Take that! I mean, we've got to also take out Sentinel Walkers, so I could just go to another planet, really. But, you know, we're here now, so might as well continue on with my waves of destruction. And let's face it, these are slightly easier than having those sentinel quad dogs coming at you. Uh-oh. Need to be back in there, really. You know what... We could, we could just um, get out of here now, I guess. Let's uh, use the train when it... I don't know whether it's going to work with my um, exo mech out. 
I need to find my Exomech Bay as well, don't I? So I can delete it. So I can take him with me. All right. Well, to do that, really, I need to continue fighting these dang things. So let's just get rid of them. We can have it. Can't remember where I deleted it already. Let's just take out all of these and then um, we'll work out what we need to do in a bit. Shall I reconvene in a bit? I think you've seen me battling these for enough at the moment. Oh, hold on. There we go. The badge has just popped now. Lovely. All right. I think they've stopped fighting me now. Okay, so we can pop that badge. There we go. Chicka boom. Okay, can I unspawn my Exomech? I don't want him to accidentally go and kill something. No, there's no despawn of Exomech. All right, well, where's my Exomech bay? I built it right by the ship, didn't I? Or did I build it over by where the distance was? Dang it. I, I can't see the bay. Maybe I already deleted it. I'm not 100% sure. I think I, I went over by the Gravitino ball and then put the bay down. But I'm not seeing it in camera mode. I'm not spotting it. So I might have to build another one. Which could be a little bit difficult, to be honest. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I guess we'd have to worry about that when we have to worry about it. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's press on. Let's uh, Let's just move to the next drop zone. So we've done all of that now. So we're going to go here and hopefully we'll come across a place with sentinels and we can fight the sentinels. Okay, we're heading towards drop zone three. Looks like there's a base in fairly close proximity. Is that going to be where the actual area is? Let's just head towards that base and let's see if there are comms balls there. Nope, that seems to be almost like a minor settlement. Not seeing any comms balls around by it, but it could be it. Let's put it down here. Let's see. If it's not, it might just be a little bit of a walk. Just jump on out. Ah, okay. We've got quite a fair walk to go, to be honest. You know what? I'm just going to get on my ship and fly away from here. Come on. Righto. So we got that there. So sometimes base markers, comms balls can be a good indication of how far to go and where to go. And other times they can be a little bit misleading. Like here. <laughs> right, okay. I'm just going to find the place on foot. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, chums, well, we've arrived, Kated. Let's see if I can put down my Exomech. Yes, I can. Let's get in this. Okay, well, I've arrived. Okay. Well, that was a bit uneventful, wasn't it? I have expected all those little green critters to jump out the ground and all sorts, but no. Okay, well, let's uh, delete this then. And this is just where I'm getting my orders, so it looks like there's nothing for me to attack here. Cool, you. All right, well, we'll head inside the building then. And pick up our orders. Have they spawned now? No, that was my just mate, so make jumping around. Okay, we're in. Sweet. Congratulations on securing the drop zone. Your continual survival places you in the 90th percentile of cleaning units. Heck yes. The scouts of the Vanguard have mapped our prime infestation site on this world. Now you must reach it and do your part. This seems like deja vu. I will do my part, I guess. Well, I'm going to do this cube. That's, that's now mine. Okay. Lovely. Let's get out of here. Where's the freaking door? There it is. Okay. Let's go do that then. Sweet. I got given some planetary charts there. And some other stuff that I didn't get to read. Okay. Uh, where's my ship gone? No, oh, you know what? I'm just going to call my ship to me. Makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? Oh, for fudge's sake. Let me in. Might as well kill these. 
Two extra kills, they all count. Take that, you little green critters. I don't know why you didn't pop out when I got here. Yeah, you better run. What do you mean, shield down? Fudge and heck. What the fudge? No! They... How did those little gits kill my freaking walker? Oh, you're having a laugh. I would have done better on blinking foot against them. Okay, so the sentinel war... The, my, my little walkery guy. My minotaur. Oh, for God. No way. Well, where's my blinking grave, then? I'm not impressed. Not impressed. Okay. Have I still got all my stuff? Yeah, I have. So it's just my exomech that just took a hammering. Oh, look at it. It's broken to shite. Okay. Alright, it's back up. Man! Oh, you took a hammering little set, little guy, didn't you? Lucky I've got a load of repair kits on me. All right, note to self. Don't try and fight the freaking green guys with him. Oh, my days. Freaking perished, though. I'll get points deducted for that when I complete my mission, I'd imagine. Yeah. <sighs> Dang it! Okay, right, here we go. Then we've got to destroy some Sentinel Walkers in a moment. Is there any extra tech that I've been given? Let, let's go pop that badge. Let's have a look, see. Oh, I've already popped it. What do I get given? Neutron cannon, powerful neutron cannon upgrade. Oh, okay. It's mainly for my own multi tool, is it? All right. And we'll get that installed then. Lovely jubbly. Very nice weapon is the neutron cannon. A bit nicer if you gave me S class modules. Oh, this is now an S class multi tool. Very lovely. All right. Done. Yeah. Cool. All right, Exo Mech. Let's um. I swear I called my ship in, didn't I? Well, where's that gone? Um, where the fudge is my ship? Right, let me just find my ship, people, and then I'll be back with you in a moment. Right, well, I got my ship, and now we're going to the infestation site. Yeah, rinse and repeat! There we go, let's go. Now, when I first played this expedition through, I really enjoyed it the first time around. The second time around, I am feeling the monotony in here a little, but I haven't had as much breaks, you know? And, yeah, maybe I gave it a 10 a little bit haphazardly. I mean, it is, it is one of my favourite expeditions, even still, you know? And, you know, running it twice in succession is not how it's intended to be done, is it? So, you know, it's still a bloody good one. It's still a fun one. And I have enjoyed the combat. But I do think the whole um, the, the the whole going up against how many Sentinel Walkers? Four of them. You got to take out four Sentinel Walkers. I think that's 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 way too many. It should be two or something, tops. Yeah, there we go. Oh, get off me! And this is mental. Right, I'm getting out of that. I don't want to die again. Oh, for fudge! Give me a weapon that I can bloody use, eh? That's better. Okay. Right. This freaking mech is a bit useless against anything that can get close to it in quick, quick time. It's good against Sentinels. It's not so good against the other stuff. All right, there we go. Let's go in. Sweet. Uh, where's the terminal? Um... Ow! Fudge and heck. Okay, we'll go through here then. Wasn't seeing this icon. They say they made these icons easier to see, but I don't know. No, here we go. It could just be me, though. Get rid of the residual goop. Let's get the bit of lore. Lovely jubbly. That's, yeah, that's the same. Here follows the test. Yeah. This infestation was stubborn. 
I had to place a plasma charges by hand, plunging myself into the viscous of the nest. That doesn't sound good. I did it without fear. I knew those who would follow would do their part. But at a heart, surrounded by grubs, I was submerged in the hive's jelly. It was soft. It was warm. It was home. Home? Seriously, mate? I could not place the charges. I could not do my part. He's siding with the enemy. I am ashamed. And now I've done my, now you have done my part for me. Oh, my days. Okay, he's siding with the bugs. He's siding with the enemy, people. Right, I'll stick this one over here, I think. Where else could I do with some? Maybe here? There. There. That'd do. I'll put it by all my um, current tech, you know? Right, eh? Well, that's not good. Well, we've now got the rest of the chitin mandibles and all that sort of shenanigans. We could go and change my look and feel. And right now, we need to find some sentinel walkers. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Okay. Well, um, yeah. To do that, I just go to my exosuit and I hit up one of these. We'll find another secure facility. It should be okay on this planet to do this. We'll fly there and go find our sentinels, people. It's a supply depot. We didn't have much luck at the last supply depot, did we? Because there was no cover. So I learnt my lesson. We're not going there. Let's see if we can find a manufacturing facility. At least then we can duck inside the doors if we need to. Manufacturing facility. I'll see you there, people. Okay, we're landing. Now, I don't know whether my exomech is just going to get out on its own. Or we're going to have to redeploy it. Let's have a look. Nope, it's there already. Let's get in then. Oh no. I'm getting out of that. Because we've got these little green guys. Sweet, we've got sentinels on us as well. Get out of it, you. I might just let the Exomech do its thing rather than use the Exomech. It seems to be able to look after itself a lot better without me in it. Get out of it. These little green pests are pests. Especially when you got the sentinels on you as well. Okay, take like that. That's going to take some proper doing to get the Sentinel Walker to come out. And we've got to do this four times. This is why I mean it's a little bit excessive. You know, I think twice would have been more than enough. In fact, once would be ideal. I think this part is a little bit overkill. What do you guys reckon? Oh no, we've got the attack dog coming. Okay, where are you? I hate the dog. It's my nemesis, is the dog. There he is. We got him. We took him out quickly. Having the fire attachment for the plasma launcher, I mean the pulse spitter, makes a massive, massive difference. I went to the station. There was no pulse spitter attachments inside the station. I still haven't managed to upgrade it all to S. I've only got one S class module, two A class modules. It could be better. Okay. They might send another dog at me in this next grouping.
when they do, they offset it slightly, don't they? I know when it's here because I just start rapidly losing energy. Ah, we got this guy. Take that. A pot. Okay. Any more for any more. Come on. Reinforcements. Sentinel Walker detected. It should be the first Sentinel Walker to take out. Okay, fun times. Come on. Have it. There's a dog. I'm going to take out the dog. Got the dog. Right. Get some fire damage on that. Oh, that's, that's my own exomech that I was shooting there. Let's make it go a bit bandy. Let's cripple him. Get rid of that guy. Fire a couple of those into his head. And he's down. Let's get our walker brain. This thing here. Pow. We've got a walker's brain. Nice. That's one of four done. I'm just going to do that four more times. Okay. Now you can see above my head that the network is disabled. Now somebody inside my viewer said, Captain Steve, can't you just do a reload? Oh, for fudge's sake. And and then will it will it undo that? We're gonna find out. We're gonna do a reload as soon as I can. As soon as I've got rid of all these guys. I think you have to kill twelve of them or something. I've killed a lot more than 12. Right. That's them done. Okay, yeah, right, we're here to save. Don't no more about a pop-up. Right. Now that it's saved, let's do a reload and let's find out, shall we? I don't think it will. Okay, here we go. Um, well, there's a sentinel right there. Let's see if we can upset it. Oh, you can. So you can just do a reload. Excellent. So we'll just keep fighting here then. Sweet. Well, there we go. We got the answer to that one. I was wrong. You can just do that. I was jumping to other systems and doing it all over again. This makes it a bit easier. Right, well, you know what? I'll reconvene when I'm on my last walker, because you've seen me do one. Cool. Okay, chums, here comes the last sentinel walker. Let's get this one dispatched and get it done. Now, it's taken me roughly about 20 minutes, so it's not its not like it's a massive amount of time. It's just pretty repetitive, you know. After you've done it a fair few times, it's a little bit done, you know what I mean? There you go, here, here he is. Take that. Ah, I've run out. Goodbye. Okay, let's get rid of this little guy first. Oh my good days. Okay. Take out that. 
Put him down on one leg. Right now he's gone. Right, we're just going to take out this last wave. There's still something hitting me pretty hard. Get some health back. Oh, there's that still alive. Okay. It's probably because of these little healers. Uh, it looks like they've taken out my exomech. Damn them. Okay. There we go, done. Let's see what they've done to my exomech. Dang it. Okay. Exocraft. Ah! Oh, all broken to toffee. Alright. Uh, there we go, that's back in. Lucky I brought a lot of repair kits with me, eh? Okay. It's the only trouble with these XMX is they, they, they do take a lot of beating. Cool. Right oh. Well, there we go, people. We're in. Lovely jubbly. And that is one of the last missions done. Whoo -wee. Okay, where's my ship gone? There it is. I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, make sure I've got this saved. Holy moly. That was fun, wasn't it? There we go. And out we go. Okay, chums. Well, it looks like we've only got to go to one last drop zone, purge one more infestation site, and then we've got the last final mission, which is encrypted right now. So let's take to the skies. Let's go do this. Look at us. Look at us. On we go. There's no real point in checking the station for S-Class modules now, I wouldn't have thought, really. I mean, we could make the battle a little bit quicker with the last infestation site. But, you know, why bother? Okay, well I've arrived, Kated, on this planet. And I must say, it is awesome seeing these new planets. I mean, look at it. It's got freaking old flowers floating in the sky and all sorts of other weird shizzle. Pretty darn lovely. Okay, well, let's head this way then. Up cha! Awesome. 200 and something views this way. You know what? Let's just pop into camera mode just for one second. Let's have a look how gnarly this looks with the sun in the sky. See what I mean? Look how cool this planet actually is, people. Freaking amazing, isn't it? Right, let's go, let's go. So we're not far from where we need to be by lots of things. I mean, you can't see your hand in front of your face half the time on these planets when the storms kick in. But what I have seen of these planets has been pretty impressive. There's another reason why I like this um, expedition so much. Oh, fudge. Oh, I just lost some of my tech. Just for being a little bit... Ow! What the fudge? Oh, my days. Fudge and heck. Let me in. I'm going to go inside the building and shoot them from the door, I think, people. Again, a bit, gra a bit, a bit aggressive, aren't they? Okay, right. Take that, get bag. Okay. Uh, what the shooting me through the floor? Okay, well, I'm shooting them through the door, so I suppose it's only fair, but come on. All right, well, um, I'm going to have to get rid of them. I think they're gone. Right. Now let's hit it up. Fun times! Liquidator command broadcast follows. Here we go. Congratulations on securing the drop zone. Your continued survival places you in the 95th percentile of cleaning units. We're climbing that ladder to success, people. 
I guess. We've upgraded to janitor at this rate. The scouts of Vanguard have mapped out our prime infestation sites on this world. Now you must reach out. Do your part. I think I've been doing my part. But, yeah, I think I've done it. I I'm ready to retire. Please. Okay, I'm fine. We've got to go to the final drop zone. Hokey pokey. Sweet. Final drop zone. Where are you? Well, my ship's quite a distance away. I might as well call my ship in. We go over here, hit this beacon. Hopefully no green terrors will appear. And then I'm going to use that to call my ship over here. Oh, for fudge's sake. Seriously? Seriously? Get out of it. No one invited you. You're not welcome. Now this planet's looking beautiful, isn't it? Apart from these little lights. Say that, you! Yeah, you roused about. You want some? Look at the rain effects on them. Are the skins all gone shiny? Ah! Yeah! Freaking punch your head in! Okay, right. Uh, that scared him, I think. What? That, that! Sa! Wah! Ah, he leaped at me! Die. Zappity zap. For Vanguard! There you go. Done. Okay, cool. Woo -wee. Right, next site we go. Spin this around. Twirly, 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 twirly. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I think I've done a 360 and then some. Oh, for fudge. Really? Even more so. Yeah, definitely done more than a 360. Right turned about. Yeah. Up through the atmosphere. And then back down again. Probably the quickest way to get to things now. But there we are. And off we go. It was probably me being silly. Righto. Infestation site. Here we come. Mm. Yeah. Great. We're still like 15 seconds away. That was a bit anticlimactic. Okay, Doug. Now we've arrived. Sweet. Oh, this is a beautiful planet. I see it far better now. I'm not going to bother calling in my exo mech. It'll probably get damaged to high heaven. Zoom. Take that. Take that, you bug of evil. Oh no, we got all the little blue, the green ones here as well. We'll take that. Oh no. Ah! Oh my days. I want to recharge my plasma launcher. It's alright having has protection installed. But it does mean that it makes it a lot harder to get to what you want to recharge. Something's biting me from behind. You know what? Sod it. I'm going to stick that out. It's going to give them an extra target, isn't it? Sweet. Yeah, there we are. Done. Might as well delete that then. Right there. Well, let's head in then, shall we, people? It goes. Ah! I got slapped and jacked. Take that. Get a getness. Ah! What the flying foot? These things are like immortal. If unless you're standing in exactly the right place in these buildings, you can't do them any damage. That needs fixing. Okay, right there we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Sweet. Yeah, same stuff as before. Same stuff as before. New message. I have marked this world for you, but I have not done my part. I leave that to you. You'll have done what was asked, I am sure. You will have done what was asked. From here I leave my part behind. I am nothing to the vanguard now. A shameful deserter. Oh my days. I found a nest. I've committed myself to it. I guess he's living there then. Okay. Well, maybe they've got better facilities. I don't know. Awards and perks, perhaps. Okay. 
Interesting. Mm, okay. We'll pop that. Sweet. We've got a memory fragment as well. Hmm. Let's pop that then. It's a scanner module. Not that I can really get it near my current one. Oh, there we go. Job done. Sweet. Okay. And uh, let's head out then. Oh, that's not a freaking door. All right, fine. Ow! That freaking thing whipped me in the bloody face again, didn't it? Okay, last mission then. Let's hit this up. Okay. Target suite. Okay, well, I just did that. Um... Right, this way then. 1,000 years. Okay, go on, mate. I'm going to use your thrusters to get me there. Oh. Go. Sweet. Right. This could take me a while. Oh, it's a beautiful planet, though. Meow. Now the nice thing is, is if the if a storm does hit, this thing's weather resistant. It's like an umbrella, but better. All right. Well, I'll see you at the location when I get there. Well, we've arrived, people. What what have we got here? Um. Well, it, I did see the icon a second ago. It just vanished on me. Oh, and now we got given another marker. All right. Well, so I guess we're going this way then. Fun times. Okay, well, I'll let you know when we get to the next marker then. But that's kind of why I wanted to go in my exomech. Because of the storms. And I don't think you can use your scanner in exomech mode. You just have to guess. Oh, here we go. There's a marker there now. I was back where it... Oh, my days. Okay, I guess we're going this way then. Without my exomech. Without the hazard protection that I really need. Yeah. Okay. Reloading just in case we get jumped by something evil. Yeah, I've noticed. Well, at least we can just keep using that jetpack now. Apparently we're here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get jumped by green stuff, aren't I? Yeah, biological horrors detected. Take that, you little gits. Yeah, I know some more are going to jump out the hole. Take that. You want some? Come get some. More of you, eh? Okay. Yeah, you want some? What? Oh my god, the environment's killing me. Ah, you get. Take that. Ow! Freaking little biters. Oh my god, how many have I got to kill now? I could just go on top of the building, couldn't I? Dispatch them from up there, take a lot less damage. It's a lot less fun though, isn't it? Right, there you go. They're done. Now friggin' out, out, out you go. Let's head on in then. Hopefully get the far last bit of the lore. Here we go. Yeah. 
The fluids that clog this terminal are unusually thick. Long strands of slime cling to its surface despite my best efforts to remove them. It's as if they are somehow alive, clinging to the words that flash across the screen. Here follows the final testament of Liquidator Blah Blah Blah, once a scout of the vanguard. The fluid that engulfs me has begun to set. I wish to leave these final words, but as I feel the high resonate around me, as I feel the jelly gently consume my bones, I l no longer remember why. Sounds like they're turning into a pupa, into some sort of cocoon. What is left of me? I leave for my for anyone who follow. Okay, I leave here for anyone who will follow. The hum of the hive is all I hear now. The binding music of the brood. My heart sings the song of the swarm. Collect the genetic remnants. And my dice. Okay. That's not good. So it looks like he became a bug. He became one of the swarm. I wonder if it was a bipedal looking bug. A little bit like what we can turn ourselves into in the appearance modifier. Anyway, let's claim my reward. There we go, people. And uh, just to make sure you've done everything, hit this last badge here. There we are. All I have now left is... Um... No, that's it. That's it. That's everything. I've done it. And we've got gifted a little pet. Chicka pow. We've got the optional missions that we can do. There we go. I'm going to go up to the actual station or the Nexus and I'm going to apply the appearance modifier and show you all the sort of like rewardy bits. I mean, I've already done a review of this expedition where I showcase everything, but I'll just show you how you can actually change your appearance. And I'm going to change my appearance on my PC save into the latest of whatever update we get. OK, so let's head on up to the old nexus zoom i'll see you by the appearance modifier okay well i'm in here now i'm going to keep it as anomaly and then you go to the head and the head that we want you could have the mandibles one that one looks very sort of predator-esque i mean i've got other ones anyway that i've unlocked but they're not like through this mission i mean that one's pretty cool isn't it but i'm going to go for that one it looks very predator-esque and if I change it to that setting, look at that, I get some lovely stripes. Torso, there's no chitin parts for torso. I mean, you've got construct, we haven't got that yet. So if you head on over here, there's the chitin. i change it to that setup. That gives me the lines I like. The gloves, again, you've got the chitin. There's the colours I like on there as well, red and white. The legs. Legs, I don't believe there's any chitin legs. No, there's not. So you go to boots. And then you get these little guys. Now, I don't overly like the legs. I think they look a little bit out of place, you know? So, but if I was to do them red and white, it'd be that way around, like that. But I think I might just put back on the legs that I already had before. But that's how you would do them. Uh, put it to that sort of red, I guess. Actually, that sort of red's probably better. Uh, markings like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit of black. That'd do. Okay, backpack. I'm going to put on the chitin one. Here we go. Oops, that's not it. That's uh, the fusion jet trails. There we go, chitin. And I think maybe just the scorch trail will be better on that one. And we go for markings. There we go. And I go for red and white. There we are. And I think that's going to be my look for my PC save until we get some sort of new armor set. I think that looks pretty cool. I just didn't like the feet. But I did show you how you can put the feet on. And there we go, people. That's that's the expedition done, diddly and done. People inside the viewerverse. I mean, I've just got to go jump in my ship, out of my ship. But that is the full expedition. Now, it is kind of interesting to see that the actual Chappie's logs that we were following turned into one of these kiting-like characters. Considering we've got living vessels, like the living ships, the living frigates, and all that sort of shenanigans, I'm wondering whether we might get living freighters appear inside of game. Maybe even living stations or something. A whole living universe, maybe, inside of this uh, purple dimension that might be coming in, the Atlantid. The thing is, is the Void Mother is kind of 
the mother of the echoes and the robots, but perhaps even maybe the mother of these things. We don't know yet. I see these as a virus. I see the robots and um, the realm of glass, the sentinels, as some sort of firewall trying to keep this virus at bay, this worm virus, this infestation at bay. And it seems to be that now we know that it can actually change travellers and anomalies into chitin, in, in, infect them, it's a virus spreading. It's what a virus does, isn't it? And I'm wondering whether this is where the 1616 is coming from. And I'm wondering whether doing our part as the Vanguard might become a permanent part of gameplay where we're trying to put, pull back or push back this virus from spreading any further. But there you go. That's a bit of a wild theory. But anyway, until next time, people, hopefully you enjoyed this massive episode of Captain Steve playing through it. Yeah, I'll probably do this. I might do this going forwards of Expeditions, do a top tips video and then do a massive playthrough video, I think. Anyway, let us know. Sound up in the comments. Let me know if you like this, this format. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.